Hi, my name is Jo Bowler and I'm a professor of mathematics learning at Stanford University. Welcome to the week of inspirational math that my YouTube team and I have designed for you. Most of the days start with a short video from my online course with some really important messages about math learning. And today's first message may be the most important of all. Everyone can do well in math. I hope you really enjoy the week. Here's the first video from the course. You may have been told or led to believe that some people are math people and some aren't, or that math isn't for you. Well, it turns out that's not true. Everyone is born with the innate ability to do well in math. And whether you do well or not comes from the experiences you've had and the beliefs that you hold. Everyone can do really well in math. There may be some people, you know, who seem naturally good at math or just love it when you don't. But that has come about because of experiences they have had. Anyone can get to the highest level of math in school. There is no such thing as a math person or the idea that some people are math people. Everyone is a math person. Let's look at the brain evidence. Scientists now know that experiences grow your brain and the brain is so plastic that it can rewire itself and grow in a really short space of time. This is how learning works. When you learn something, a synapse fires in your brain. It's like an electric current. And the pathways formed by the synapse are like water in the sand. The more you return to an idea, the stronger the pathway gets. If you don't go back to it, it will wash away. When you learn something, your brain grows. And if you learn it deeply, it grows and stays. So you may think some people are just brainy or smart because they just are. But it all comes from what they've learned. And you, you can, can catch up, up to them. them. When you learn, synapses fire. And this doesn't just happen when you're in a class. It can happen when you read, when you build something, when you have a conversation, when you get an idea, and when you make a mistake. Synapses are firing in your brain every day. The brain is like a muscle. The more you work the muscle, the more it grows, just like in the gym. If weightlifters exercise with the same size weights, they wouldn't grow muscles, and they have to keep increasing the weights. It's the same with math. The harder you think, the more you struggle with an idea, the more your brain grows. Here is some of the evidence that has stunned scientists in recent years and made them realize that everyone's brains can grow and change at any time. Taxi drivers in London have to learn 20,000 streets and 25,000 landmarks in London before they become qualified. They study for two to four years. And at the end of that time, they take a test, which is just simply called the knowledge. When they've finished their training, scientists have found that the hippocampus in their brain is bigger. And the hippocampus is the area of the brain that's specialized in acquiring and using spatial information. When they retire from being a taxi driver, their hippocampus shrinks back down. That's how flexible the brain is. Scientists took a group of people who could not juggle and split them in half. With one group, they really encouraged them to practice, also showing them some good ways to practice. Not surprisingly, the group that practiced learned to juggle and the other group didn't. But the practice group also had significant brain changes. They grew the seeing and movement areas of their brains and they developed more ability. So the brain is much more plastic than anyone ever thought. In one of the studies, a six-week training course, when students worked on a task just for a few minutes each day, changed the structure of their brains. And we should think about that. Working on a task for a few minutes per day for six weeks can cause your brain to rewire and grow. If that's true, imagine what you can do for your brain over the course of a year in a math lesson.